Sleepy dee 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 Oh, the unsung hero. We all need us some sleep, but does it get the credit it reserves? Absolutely not. Why? Because when we don't get it, we blame it, and we call it the red-headed ugly stepchild. It's not its fault. Then we look at caffeine, and we say, oh, caffeine, our savior, but really, the whole thing should be reversed. It's sleep we should be praising, and caffeine we should be keeping on the naughty list and watching out for. I want to talk briefly about my sleep. It's been quite an interesting journey over the years. Everybody's got different biorhythms. One of the key things that I've learned early on is figuring out what it is that you are naturally inclined to do. Are you naturally a night owl or are you naturally a morning frog? And mostly I'm a night owl and I tried to fight this for many years and I do think that there's some something to be said for being able to retrain your brain slightly and if you need to go do certain things at a certain time, go into bed at a certain time. The key though is trying not to naturally fight those natural biorhythms. Go along with them and if you are happen to be a night owl, don't fight it. You know, maybe if you've got more energy at night, try to get some more and be productive at night. Don't just lay there, eat bonbons and watch TV. If you're more of a morning person where that's where you're jazzed and you're energized and you have that three, four hour burst or whatever and then it kind of fades throughout the day, Make sure you plan accordingly. But the key is getting enough sleep. Not, a, not enough of us focus on this. Everybody's different. It's not the eight hours we always hear about. It could be anywhere from six to nine. I recommend getting what I call a, a wearable, a device. I have an iWatch, I use it, it's fantastic. And then I have this uh, app called Sleepwatch. It helps me track things such as how much sleep I'm getting, uh, if I'm getting restful sleep or not, uh, what my heart rate variation is, all these types of things. But overall, the main thing I use it for is how much sleep I'm getting on average. It's a huge eye opener and it helps me to regulate and to do the sleep that I need. So hopefully this helps you. You can do things such as, uh, there's all sorts of wearables. It doesn't have to be an eye watch to maybe help you with that. Figure out what your sleep habits are, get them tracked, start living your best life. See you next time, thanks. Get moving, build momentum, join the movement. Go to moremomentum.com to take a free life evaluator quiz on where you currently stand in each of your five cores.